Good progress, but no consensus yet from the UN-sponsored climate change conference. Delegates are working overtime this Friday trying to bash out an agreement for the 12-day summit wraps. Talks that have kept the reps there way past the 10 a.m. GMT closing time. But nearly 190 countries had spent much of the talks deadlocked as the U.S. squabbled with Europe over whether firm cuts should be set. U.N. Chief Ban Ki-moon is even returning to the talks to oversee negotiations. Well, I'm now joined in the studio by Hervé Lautrette, who's a senior researcher at the National Scientific Centre of Research and also uh, an advisor on the IPCC, I believe. Uh, Mr. Lautrette, first of all, thank you very much for joining us. Good progress, apparently. Does that satisfy you? Well, I think as long as there won't be uh, any uh, target uh, set out for, for these uh, emission reductions, I think it won't be very satisfying because so far the, the, the target set for the Kyoto, by the Kyoto Protocol that has to have to be met uh, before uh, 2012 have not been uh, followed by good progress, have not been met in many cases. So the even... A uh, stronger effort which is required after 2012 if we want to, to really diminish by, by factor two at some point uh, during this century the, the emissions and never go over the, the target of a dangerous climate uh, which is supposed to be at uh, approximately warming of two degrees. If there are no specified targets, there is very little chance to, to meet those uh, very strong, uh, very difficult objectives. Was, uh, were they actually supposed to agree on setting specified targets during the summit? I don't think so. I think they have to agree on the mechanisms that will lead to, to targets. I think the, there is, uh, the, the issue there is to have uh, some uh, protocol that will follow the Kyoto Protocol, which is in effect until uh, 2012, so it's something that will start on the 1st of January 2013, but the, the negotiation is always very long, so it has to be uh, uh, to start on good basis uh, now, and that's I think, what is at stake in, in this Bali uh, conference. And just briefly for us, obviously one huge advantage of this conference being held at the moment, of course, is the IPCC and Al Gore fresh from winning the Nobel Peace Prize. Obviously climate change is something really very many people are aware of now. Do you think that has reinforced the position? Do you think this has put uh, scientists in a stronger position now to argue against countries, for example, like the United States, to at least, if not accept the Kyoto Protocol, then at least to go some way towards setting cuts? Yeah, I think the, the scientific consensus that has uh Emerge from the IPCC and then has been uh, 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 praised by, by, by this uh, Nobel Prize. I, I think th this is very important because the, the weight of the public opinion will probably be very uh, important in, uh, in, in this uh, whole issue. There, there have to be uh, efforts which have to be shared among different countries. So the, the way public opinion receives uh, this, uh, this problem is extremely important, I think. Yes. Okay. Hervé Lautrette, thank you very much for talking, taking the time to talk to us here in the studio. That wraps up this bulletin. More news here in 20 minutes.